Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about a few of the scientific mechanisms behind Hoshiwu's hair growth or hair promoting abilities. Now, for those of you who are familiar with Chinese medicine and tonic herbalism, you're likely aware of the herb known as Hoshibu and its major benefit, which is the ability to promote hair growth and restore the general health and quality to the hair. However, few of us stop and ask the question, how is it done? How does this herb actually work to achieve these effects? And that's something that I'm personally interested in and always curious about finding out. So I did a little bit of research. I dove into some of the mechanisms behind Hoshiwu and I started to piece together not only its physiological mechanisms and abilities, but I also glanced at a variety of different studies that talked about these specific benefits. So I decided to make this short video talking about some of these mechanisms so that way you too can become familiar with how this herb actually works to achieve these effects. Perhaps the simplest way that Hoshiwu promotes hair growth in the restoration of the hair is by promoting the growing phase of the hair. You see, one of the major reasons behind problems with hair growth or hair loss is that there's an increase or significantly higher number of resting hair follicles in the resting phase of hair growth compared to that of the growing phase, which is referred to as the antigen phase. So the antigen phase of hair growth is the part of the hair growth cycle where the hair is growing. Now, typically what happens again in hair loss or just problems with growing healthy hair is that you have, again, a higher number of resting dormant hair follicles. So your hair cycle is stuck in this resting phase. And this is due to a variety of different factors that I talk about in other videos that I talk about in my forever healthy hair course. However, one of the major contributing factors to this is stress. When your hair follicles are stressed, they're going to stay in a more dormant phase. So it's likely Hoshiwu's powerful antioxidant capacity or abilities that promotes or induces this antigen or growing phase. So again, the basic takeaway here is that Hoshiwu is going to ensure or induce or stimulate your hair to go into this growth cycle and kick it out of this resting dormant cycle. The second major way that Hoshiwu contributes to healthy hair growth is by its effect on dermal papilla cells. So dermal papilla cells are basically another way of saying hair follicle cells. They're the major cells in the hair follicle. They play a key role in the growth of the hair, the thickness and the volume of the hair shaft and how long your hair will grow. And Hoshiwu contains a special glucoside which actually significantly increases the amount or number of dermal papilla cells in the scalp, therefore resulting in not just greater hair growth but increasing the length of the hair, the volume of the hair, etc. A third major systemic way that Hoshiwu benefits the hair is by its inhibitory effect on the inflammatory processes of something called bacterial endotoxins or lipopolysaccharides. Now in short, endotoxins, they are the metabolic toxic waste products of pathogenic bacteria that generally proliferate in unhealthy intestines. So when your intestines become imbalanced, uh, generally referred to as SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, these bacteria can off-put or produce these bacterial endotoxins and these cause a cascade of inflammatory responses in the body. They stimulate the production of estrogen, cortisol, and other stress chemicals that are all involved in the pathogenesis of hair loss. At basic, all of these chemicals basically inhibit proper mitochondrial respiration or they suppress metabolic function, therefore resulting in decreased energy supply to the hair follicle, lower blood circulation, etc. So lipopolysaccharides or bacterial endotoxins are a major uh, systemic source of hair problems, hair loss, and most other diseases. Now, according to study, Hoshiwu actually has a beneficial effect on suppressing the production of macrophages, which are inflammatory chemicals from these bacterial endotoxins. So in essence, Hoshiwu is a profound antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory. And when you start to understand the pathology of hair loss, Next to stress, the major cause of hair loss and hair problems in general is the inflammation of the scalp. So by acting as an anti-inflammatory in this way, Hoshiwu is gonna beneficially affect the hair follicles and overall hair health. The fourth and fifth way that Hoshiwu benefits the hair comes down to a special constituent known as emodin. Now looking back at the pathogenesis of hair loss, one key feature of hair loss is the elevated production of serotonin. Now most people think of serotonin, they think that this 
is a good feel-good neurotransmitter. However, the fact of the matter is serotonin is actually an inflammatory mediator. And one specific physiological role it has in the body is suppressing or down-regulating the metabolic rate. So in hibernation, for example, serotonin is chronically high. Serotonin also elevates during winter and dark seasons, suppressing the metabolic rate to preserve energy and basically inducing some sort of hibernation, again, to preserve your energy. However, the problem with this is that serotonin, by suppressing the metabolic rate, is ultimately suppressing the thyroid, which is going to decrease not only the energy supply to the hair follicle, it's going to decrease the amount of oxygen that gets to your hair follicles in your tissues. Not to mention that serotonin in excess often triggers the secretion of free radicals like superoxide and nitric oxide which play key roles in the pathogenesis of hair loss because of their inflammatory nature. Now enter Hoshiwu or Emodin. It's been found that Emodin has a sort of opposing effect in all of these regards. So Emodin is going to actually increase the metabolic rate which is essential for good health and hair growth because that's going to drive energy and oxygen and blood flow to the scalp, to the hair follicles. It also directly increases ATP synthesis and there's a direct association between the depletion of ATP in the scalp and hair loss. So it's going to increase ATP synthesis and production to the scalp throughout the whole body and all of the tissues. And it's also going to ensure as a byproduct that you're getting a sufficient amount of oxygen to all of your tissues, including the scalp. Last but not least, in result of all this, Imodin is going to have an antioxidant effect, reducing the production of free radicals or reactive oxygen species that would otherwise damage your hair follicles. Now, the fifth and final way that Hoshiwu, or specifically Imodin, is benefiting the hair and the growth of the hair is by its inhibitory effect on something called transforming growth factor beta-1. Now, one of the major theories of hair loss in conventional science is that androgens like DHT and testosterone shrink your hair follicles and lead to the inflammation of the scalp. But one of the major things to understand here is that in essence, as you age, your DHT levels plummet and hair loss increases. And on the other hand, typically when DHT is highest is when hair loss is the least present, where it's the most scarce and the most non-existent. So DHT is otherwise actually a beneficial androgen as protective qualities. And the only way that it actually contributes to hair loss is the presence of first aromatase activity in this transforming growth factor beta one. You see, it is aromatase activity in transforming growth factor beta one, which are the catalysts that lead to the inflammatory nature of these androgens that lead to the scalp calcification or fibrosis that leads to the ultimate shrinking of the hair follicles. So in other words, it's not DHT or testosterone which have been shown to have protective anti-inflammatory effects, it's the presence actually of these inflammatory mediators as well as aromatase that actually leads to the inflammation of the scalp that results in the calcification or the fibrosis, which is the scarring of the scalp that shrinks your hair follicles. In fact, there's clinical evidence that show that transforming growth factor beta one is directly linked or correlated with increased arterial calcification and fibrosis. So, this chemical is known to be directly inflammatory and it leads to the fibrosis of the tissues, including the scalp. Not to mention that there are studies that have concluded that TGF-B1 is an androgen-induced mediator of hair follicle or scalp fibrosis and actually regulates the hair growth cycle as a negative growth factor, not a positive one. Now, insert Hoshiwu has been found in various clinical studies that Emodin is not only anti-inflammatory, which is going to be beneficial for hair health in general, because again, inflammation leads to fibrosis, calcification of the scalp, and the damaging of the scalp. However, there are specific correlations between Emodin's ability to actually decrease or inhibit this transforming growth factor beta-1, which would have a beneficial sort of anti-inflammatory and anti-fibrotic effect on the scalp. So that brings this video to a close. These are just a few of the scientific or physiological mechanisms behind Hoshiwu's hair promoting effects or abilities. I'm sure there are many others that we could dive into. However, in essence, what we find is that Hoshiwu not only directly improves the growth cycle of the hair follicles in the entire scalp, but it has a profound antioxidant effect, anti-inflammatory and anti-fibrotic effect that mitigates or mediates a lot of the inflammatory chemicals that would otherwise lead to hair loss and baldness. So if you needed any other reason to consume more Hoshiwu, 
Now you have five more reasons. So for those of you that are not familiar with Hoshiwu though, we have tons of information here on the YouTube channel. So definitely just you know give it a quick search, learn a little bit more. Also, we carry a high quality Hoshiwu extract and write various blogs on our website. So for learning more or supplementing with Hoshiwu for any of the benefits that we mentioned here today, you can find all of that information and that specific herb on our tonic herb shop in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.